myself Ravi Kumar. I have overall of around 10 years of IT experience. I work for various technologies. On that, I used to work with mostly with data analysis as well as data engineering operations. So right now, my designation is data engineer as well as data analyst. Why? Because I covered almost all the operations which will involved in data engineering and data analyst. So I have a good experience on Tableau, Power BI, and after that, uh, DevOps operations and uh, Splunk data analyst, uh, worked as a data analyst uh, in the Splunk and Snowflake G data engineering and GCP data engineering. I have good exposed on all of our three clouds like AWS cloud data engineering, GCP, uh, GCP data engineering, as well as Azure data engineering also. But I am more on GCP data engineering as well as Snowflake data engineering. My projects are involved with these two mostly. So, oh, and my real time, uh, like as of now, my projects are mostly on the Snowflake data engineering as well as GCP data engineering. So, I have a good expertise on both of data engineering operations as well as data analyst operation. So, this is my experience. So, coming to the Snowflake, this is the Snowflake class. Coming to the Snowflake from past two years onwards, I'm teaching the classes. From past 3.5 years onwards, I'm working with Snowflake with the multi, multi cloud data engineering operations. Most work on the Snowflake also. So, I completed a lot of batches on the Snowflake. They got placed and they are doing the best in their jobs. This is what, sir, my experience. So I don't want to go on your details. Why? Because uh, there are a lot of people out there. So I don't want to waste your time first. So whatever the backgrounds it should be. So can you please, uh, before starting the section, I am requesting you, please, I'm just sincerely requesting you. So anybody having uh, option or comfortable with communication, so please communicate with me. Please interact with me. Okay. So I feel very good on interaction sections. Okay. So that if anybody are there active, so please interact with me. So try to give answers, try to interact with me. Okay. That will be the best, uh, uh, best for me. It's just my sincere request. And next, last of this, your wish. Next, coming to the snowflake before starting the snowflake, whatever it may be, I would like to uh, say something like, Yes. In this case, whatever the course content we are covering on the snowflake that involved with both administration and development parts. Please mute yourself. She is coming now. No, she is not coming. She is actually handling from hometown. She is updating our student link. So she is sharing the link. I will share you the link. Okay. They are online actually. They are not offline. Go to go see this. Actually, I was also thinking that they will come offline. Sir, sir. She is Java. She is new to us, sir. She is sharing the link. She will share. I will share to you also. So, this is my experience in the snowflake. I used to cover both administration as well as development part. Both will be covered. So whatever the content I am providing, that will be takes around 40 to 45 hours of 
time. Okay. So maybe one or two hours will be increased based on the syllabus. Definitely syllabus will be more. Why? Because I need to uh, teach everything from the scratch itself. Okay. So I will cover you real time topics within the class itself. I will give you interview questions. I will give you real time scenarios. And also I will I will give you resume guidance and also interview guidance also will be provided. Now pre assistance also will be provided in the course content itself. So I will give you complete support. Actually, this is my first uh, two years back uh, image. Okay. So that's why around eight years, but now it is around 10 years. So I will give you complete support on WhatsApp, like doubts and other stuff also. Like you, you have a WhatsApp group and you can clear your doubts on the WhatsApp group. Okay. So any doubt, any problem or any, uh, anything you face problem on practicing, you can make a screenshots on the practice and you can clear your doubts also. You can utilize my services in WhatsApp group. So uh, you can, uh, I can share all the documents within the WhatsApp itself. What is the relevant documents? I like uh, uh, notes, materials, or lab practices, whatever you want. So, so everything will be provided in the WhatsApp itself. I will show you reference documents also to enhance your skill set. So, coming to the job openings in the Snowflake, we already discussed these things in the last class. So, but again, I am revealing uh, like lot of a uh, lot of openings are there right now. Uh, people are more, more, more interesting interesting on data engineering operations so in this case data engineering operations will be the one of the best things uh, on that snowflake so why snowflake i will tell you again don't worry about it but so if you talk about it the packages are very high you can uh, you can get minimum of 8 lakhs to maximum of 30 30 35 lakhs also based on your experience so, but you need at least I need, I am suggesting you to keep a minimum 1.5 to 2 years experience within the snowflake. Why? Because there is no fresher opportunities. Okay, very, very less opportunities are there. But at least 1.5 to 2 years, you can keep your experience means you'll get, you'll get a lot of calls. You can keep a number of experience also, but I will keep, I will, I will teach you every from scratch itself whatever the content I am providing for you. So that will have a capability to keep up to four years experience in Snowflake also. That much of content I will share you. Lot of things I will cover you. Okay. So with that, you will get a capability to keep more experience also. Next, uh, coming to that prerequisites. If you have a SQL knowledge, if you have any data warehouse knowledge, if you have uh, any IT knowledge, that is one of the best things. Okay. Okay, that is one of the best things. Even though if you don't have that knowledge also, no problem. From the scratch itself, I will teach you what is data warehouse, what is, what is database, what is SQL, everything from the scratch itself, I will teach you. According to me, no prerequisites is needed. If you want it, sorry. 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 Somebody is. Somebody is. Oh, hello, mute yourself. So, so, according to me, no prerequisites is needed. Why? Because if you know some computer knowledge, if you are familiar with computer knowledge, don't worry. So if you are understanding my language, what I am teaching right now, that is more than enough to, to get a job in Snowflake. Why? Because from the basic content, I will cover in the course content. Okay. According to me, no prerequisites. If you have any prerequisites like SQL, data warehouse knowledge or other data analyst knowledge or data engineering knowledge or any ETL knowledge, also no problem. That is the one of the additional advantage for you. Okay. Otherwise, you don't have a knowledge also, no problem. From everything I will I will teach you, don't worry about it. Now, before entering to the snowflake, so I will teach the classes from the scratch itself. I already told you. In that scratch, I will cover you basics of SQL, basics of ETL, like ETL operations, SQL operations, snowflake, data warehousing, database management, data warehouse management, 
and also integrations with multiple clouds and on premises and also uh, transform the data and also parsing the data and also segregate the data and also we can discuss a lot of things like uh, uh, aws cloud azure cloud gcp cloud which will enough knowledge for the data engineering operations what is that enough knowledge for that uh, knowledge i will definitely share in the course content this is about uh, all sir so before starting the session what is snowflake before starting the section what is snowflake do you have any questions you can ask me one by one do you have any questions please ask me one by one before going to start the session what is snowflake please please anybody yeah sir i have one question transfer load and extract yes etl is extraction transforming and loading whereas data warehouse or right now cloud data warehouses are support for elt extraction load and transformation but snowflake will support for both elt etl both will supports i will cover you all these things on the snowflake itself yes somebody is asking question one more hello hello please please ask your questions yeah ravi i have one question see snowflake is just like sql server where we will store data or we will perform some transformation over the data like etl tools actually uh, snowflake is a data warehouse data warehouse okay okay in this case snowflake we can use for the multiple purposes we can use for the multiple yes snowflake is used for the multiple purposes okay so it is completely we can do data engineering operations with snowflake so it is better suitable for oltp system it is better suitable for olap system and it is not only for the data warehouse operations complete data engineering operations will be happened with a snowflake so i think coming class you can understand that thing okay so many people will see snowflake as a just a software but i didn't see the snowflake as a just a software it is much more than software why because almost all data engineering operations will be done with snowflake got my point yeah i got it thank you and one more thing here i am not going to cover you snowflake here i am going to teach the snowflake in the data engineering role this is snowflake data engineering so that whatever the data engineering operations on that i will use all these operations with the help of snowflake that's it yes chindu you raise the hand yeah hi so prerequisites will be like you uh, know uh, currently like you should be having a db right that uh, what you will be going to cover sound right yes sir. actually if you the persons who have uh, like uh, knowledge like etl sql data analyst data engineering previously or data warehouse knowledge or python knowledge these guys are very apt to learn the snowflake okay even though you don't have this knowledge also don't worry about it from the scratch itself i will teach you okay including clouds all of three clouds basics of three clouds i will teach you sure and completely everything will be real time every practicals we need to check okay every practicals we need to check first to 3 uh, to 4 hours of classes will be theoretical okay 
and after that everything will be practicals there is a lab sections every practical needs to be applied and configured got okay. it yes anybody what about kiran nagaraj shaka vishnu iphone so yes pavani do you have any questions navina swapna ganesh shekar harshita chandu sri abhi ratna do you have any questions please ask me you have one more two to three minutes are there so i will start the session what is snowflake hello sir yes please uh, currently i am working as an accountant can i switch to it yes sir uh, in it everybody can switch it sir but what we th what the thing is that in it there are lot of uh, technologies and uh, tools are there software sir so the the persons who are looking for that means the companies who are looking for the more openings on the specific technology you will choose the technology definitely you will be better suitable why because the more resources needed they won't check every background for you why because they need a resources if it is a latest technology if it is a easy technology if it is a demanded technology so that definitely you can learn that course and you will get the job as a non it also yes sir nowadays if you keep any data engineering okay snowflake knowledge is expected any data engineering you can give snowflake knowledge will be expected so i i do i am not saying that uh, all, only snowflake is required for enter into the it snowflake is the one of the best choices one of the best choices to enter into the it why because it is very latest technology easy technology no coding is required sql based completely sql based okay no coding is required simply it is easy technology no coding is required very latest technology and demandable technology so that easy latest demanded definitely you will get the job that's why snowflake i am just saying as a one of the technology to get the job or to enter into the it Uh, like uh, you, you are going to cover snowflake development, admin and, and development, both, both. Yeah, uh, and uh, like you know, as you said, like you know, once this is done, so will you be explaining exactly in real time in the, in data in data engineering field how that you know pipelines will be created, uh, like you know, data engineering pipelines, how this uh, snowflake can be consume the data, process the data. you going to cover that as everything i will show you practicals how how the data will be extracted how the data will be transformed how the data will be loaded how the pipelines will be created how the uh, streaming data will be processed how the batch process how batch data will be processed how the cloud data will be processed how the on prem data will be processed in the type in the, like uh, So I will. Yeah, it's not like you use it to store that the S3 bucket and the GCP, right? So are you going to explain the AWS and then the GCP answer? Yes, I already told you. Actually, Snowflake have a close uh, connections between these all of these clouds. Okay, so in coming classes you can understand the close connection. But in our course content, I will I included all of three clouds basics. okay what our the data engineering part okay so the person not complete data engineering on all three clouds so as a snowflake data engineer what you needed what services you needed like 
what is computer service what is storage service s3 okay what is uh, ec2 service and what is iam service what is event management service and what is the uh, triggering service what is sqs was what is sns okay what is lambda service this all will be covered in aws in azure we will cover vm uh, storage storage storages and also iam services access management uh, next uh, event grid like event event management triggering uh, message triggering next uh, in gcp we will cover you vm uh, storage and uh, iam and uh, uh, pops up like that all almost all basics we will cover anybody having any questions anybody having any questions anybody having any questions please say yes or no sir i have one more question yes please sir in sql query to retrieve data will write uh, sorry in, in ms sql server to retrieve data will write sql queries in in the same way in snowflake also we are going to write like uh, queries in the uh, we are going to write sql queries or any other yes. uh, there is a name called snow sql that is 90 to 95 percent sim similar to my sql okay so why this we need to return we need to create a worksheets on the worksheets we need to write a queries with the help of that queries only all the operations will be executed so this query will be call it as a snow sql snow sql this snow sql is 90 to 95% similar to my sql not oracle sql not other sql my sql very simple language okay okay So, do you have any questions? Ask me. Now, see, sir. So, if you don't have any questions, I will start the session. Please respond. Yes or no? no yes, sir. Yes, very good. Yes. So, very good. Sir, Snowflake is a cloud data warehouse. I am dividing these two words into two parts. One is cloud and other one is data warehouse. I am just talking about first data warehouse. What is data warehouse? What is data warehouse? Data warehouse is nothing but one type of database. One type of database. Which will create, which will call, call it as a centralized repository which will store the data coming from the different range of sources, which will store the data coming from the different range of sources. Sir, data warehouse is a one type of database. Then what is the necessity of data warehouse? Let's say you have a database like DB2, like MySQL, Oracle, whatever it may be. These are the databases. These are the databases. I am giving the definition as a database is a one type of, sorry, data warehouse is a one type of data uh, database, but it acts as a centralized repository, which will store the data coming from different range of sources which will store the data coming from different range of sources. That means whatever the data coming from the databases will store. For better understanding, for better understanding, example of database, example of database, example of databases, 
example of databases just consider as a living room data warehouse is store room in your house in your house Sir, why database is a living room? Why data warehouse is a storeroom? Both are rooms only. Both are rooms only. But the name is different. Why? Both are rooms only. Living room as well as storeroom are both are rooms only. Common word is room. But why? Database data is aggregated format. Yes. In this example, please tell me what why uh, both are rooms, but this we call it as a living room. This we call it as a storeroom because the living room is used to do for latest process so that means present present that to do very latest okay so living room means everybody people will live there and we can do a lot of operations a lot of a uh, lot of things on the living room that's why we just call it as a living room but storeroom same room room only but we call it as a storeroom why because the purpose is different what is that purpose? If you are not using any product, if you are not using anything, or if you are not using any, any something like product, you are keeping the products or things into the storeroom. Please answer my question. Why you are keeping the products into the storeroom? Why not it is outside? Currently, it is not used. Yes, currently it is not used, but you feel that it is used in the future. That means the, the products which was stored in a storeroom will be the for the future purpose. That's why we just call it as a storeroom. Same like that, whatever the data in the databases will be the latest. Okay, whatever the data in the data warehouse is the historical as well as latest latest plus historical okay and the purpose of database is connecting to the real-time system and storing all the transactions and asset properties and maintaining is a data into a storage yes. but whereas data warehouse is also storing the huge and bulk of data but not connected with the real-time systems that are connected with a data sources called databases that means it will have a present data it have a present come past data and it is limited limited data and it has huge data bulk data bulk data clear so why you are going with uh, data warehouse means for feature purpose not now you feel that your data is used in the feature that is called as a data warehouse simply so what is the purpose of having a data warehouse means if you understand let's say right now i am teaching the class right now i am teaching the class if somebody will call me what will happen to me what will happen to the class please respond if somebody yes class was deviated maybe that means simply we just call it as a performance issue yes or no simply call it as a performance issue in this case all your databases are connected to your real-time systems all these databases are maintaining your transactions provided by application or any real-time systems okay all use data into maintained here okay now some power bi people or tableau people are come and ask for the analysis means what will happen so all my 10 uh, all my sales i am loading into database for example now power bi people one x person go, uh, uh, came to the database and asked that what is the last two months sales what is the average last two months sales what whether wow, how 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 many sales i got happened with all my stores what is the highest store rate? What is the lowest store rate? This analysis they are expecting. If you do this analysis, the data is in the database. That the time, if you want to provide some analysis, means you need to connect to the database only. 
so that if you are connecting to that database already this database was connected with the real time systems and you are asking for the analysis means it is not suitable there is a chance of performance issue that's why we don't disturb the databases we don't disturb that yes some basic analysis you can do it sir i am not saying that completely don't connect with databases okay but i am talking on the big i am talking on the big way okay let's say you small operations like without uh, while teaching the class i am i am giving the response to the other guys also with my eyes that is small operations i am not talking about it same here also i am not talking about i am not saying about don't connect to the databases i am talking on the bigger way so that if you are connecting to the databases so that same database is already connected with real time system and you are asking something or you are reading something what will happen there is a performance degradation so that's why all your data is maintained on the some other systems all your data will be maintained on the some other systems so that systems we call it as a data warehouses that systems we call it as a data warehouses so databases are serve for the latest whereas data warehouses are serve for latest plus historical latest plus historical whereas databases we call it as a oltp systems oltp systems oltp systems that means online transactional process systems online transactional process systems whereas data warehouses we call it as a olap systems olap systems that means online analytical process systems online analytical process system okay so databases are connected with the real time applications and it will stores all your transactions and asset properties from that particular application okay it's a limited period limited period whereas data warehouses maintain the data from the different sources that to use simply we can say it as a databases will support for within the gbs within the gbs gbs whereas data warehouse will support for within the petabyte tab tbs petabyte pts like more more sir in coming class i will tell you why databases are support for gbs only how the design will be happening what is the data warehouse why this is uh, supporting for tbs petabytes metabytes whatever it may be okay in coming class i will tell you what is the design and what is the drawbacks and everything okay but simply today database is a one type of oltp system which will stores the data coming from the diff, uh, sorry uh, different transactions happen on the particular application okay that to do in the limited period let's say for example hdfc bank is there on the hdfc bank last to two years will be maintained on the databases okay entire 20 years data along with this two years will be maintained on the data warehouse why because for analytical purpose databases for online process whereas data warehouses for analytical process that's why both the databases only sir both the data warehouse is also called as a database only but the purpose today i am teaching the class that's why you are talking as a trainer outside if i met means what you will call you just call me ravi same person but the purpose will be there so the name will be changed here also the purpose here why this is database why this is data warehouse means this is the purpose of maintaining the transactions this is the purpose of maintaining huge and bulk of data for analytical process got my point online people yes yes now second word what is that cloud cloud what is cloud anybody what is cloud it's an it is an application application okay next anybody on anybody having any question any any answer so please interact sir please interact what is the problem with student is trainer is interacting students won't interact <laughs> Uh, cloud is a platform like you know, where uh, virtually like data can be stored. Okay, only you are talking on data. That means only you can store data on the cloud. Yeah, 
Sorry. Somebody low voice. Virtual repository. Virtual repository. Repository again. You just talking means again you are talking on storage only. That means you are your mind always talking on the drive, Google Drive, <laughs> One Drive, Dropbox, virtual storage. Sir, for easy understanding, I think I don't know. Yes, please. Sorry. Anyways, sorry. Almost somewhat correct, but different way. I can understand. I think uh, you didn't listen this word any time before in technology. So cloud is nothing but tent house. Cloud is nothing but tent house in my point of view. Why I said that cloud tent house means in olden days, if you want to serve food for thousand people, what you will do? You can have his own dishes by yourself only. Whatever the bowls, big bowls, everything from your side out. Otherwise, you will borrow from the neighbors and you can take care from you only. But nowadays, you just go through the tent house and we are taking all the resources, whatever you want, decorations, uh, bowls, whatever you want, spoons, chair, whatever it may. And after that com work completed, you'll just return it and you are paying the money. Got my point? Cloud is nothing but same tentos. Actually, in IT industry, we need a resources. We need a resources like router, switch, networking devices, cables, servers, CPU, RAM, hardware device, whatever it may be, sensors, whatever it may be. All these we call it as a resources. All these resources maintained by you, purchased by you, maintained in your company premises only. Company premises only. Everything taken care by you. Okay. That refers to on prem. That refers to on prem. Not only storage, sir. All the resources. Okay. On prem. Same resources maintained some other place. Okay. Via internet, you are accessing that resources based on your requirement. Via internet, you are accessing that resources based on your requirement. That refers to cloud. Yes, sir. All person like uh, so some people will purchase all the products, all the resources and keep as a bulk. From there it will be. So what is the use actually? At olden days, in our childhood, if you want to see your new movie, what you will do? Uh, there is a DVDs yeah. at that time. Olden days, you will purchase the movie. No. We need to how much time, how much price it will be? To purchase the so and so new movie on the CD or DVD, around 200 to 300 rupees. Awesome. Instead of that, there is an option go to the DVD shop and take the rent up 10 rupees per day, 20 rupees per day. No need to invest that 300 rupees here or 200 rupees here, only for one or two. One day you can see for three times, four times. Okay. We will take rental for two days or one day and we'll see it and we'll return back it. Yes or no? How, how, how investments will be reduced? Same here also. For example, you need a thousand servers. How much investment you need to keep on the thousand servers? Okay. You, you invest some one crore, for example. On that one crore, you need to keep a uh, thousand servers you got. Huh? You, for, for thousand servers, you need to give on place now. Yes. Server room. Server room, maintenance, power bill, climate controller. 
all our problems huh? simply somebody is maintaining and we are accessing means no need to do anything na huh? in simple way sir in simple understanding another example hotel food is the cloud home food is the on prem well do again don't ask me security wise health wise don't talk <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm not talking on health wise security wise on that that is a separate debate <laughs> okay if you want to prepare your food in your home means you need to take the ingredients you need to take care about the bowls you need to take care about the gas you need to take care about all the things after eating you need to clean it also but in order order it yes eat it pay the money based on your eat hey you know in a home if you cook for three people if two people will eat one people food will wasted yes if you cook for three people if two two people are extra for them no we don't serve but in water 10 people will go five people will go how much you will eat for that only you will pay yeah that right yes another example do you know power generation with solar panels solar panels yeah. what it will do it will generate the power power utilization utilize from government this is the example from example for cloud so why i gave example see power utilization from the solar panels so many people are suggesting the solar panels but see if you if you want to go with the solar panels first you need to invest more money to purchase the panels so around 10 lakhs or what are it that and after that you need to show one place you need to install for installation time taken okay and after that on the roof or on the top of your home you are keep your all your panels okay installation time be and then investment more next your solar panels capacity is 10 gb sorry no, 1050 megawatts but your utilization is 70 megawatts limitation is there no yes again you are investing money means it's not possible that is limitation first point is investment second point is installation and after that infra you need to provide you need to provide a place yes. infra and after that limitation limitation and the fifth point your power consumption capacity is 50 megawatts but you are utilizing 30 20 is wasted yes. that means wasted now a training season no chance of power generation yes. that means no disaster recovery okay and today you want a power means but if anything happened to that if any cyclone will came or anything happened to that power, what will happen yes. no power no backup yeah. no backup yeah. and also for example limitation also there like a latency also there power consumption will be late and at the time of uh, disaster management these are not the problems coming to the power utilization from the government we will just pay one 500 rupees to the people they will create one meter they will like uh, they will create connection to your home you will utilize it to, to this month you will utilize 10 units you will pay for 10 units next month you are utilizing only 5 units you just pay for 5 units and next month you will pay 200 units you will pay for 200 units if any power will go we'll just call to the substation they will take care about it if anything disaster happens they will take care about it they will connect to water grid or power grid or wind grid whatever it may be i don't want service also i don't want everything they will take care a small meter will help see same like that if you keep all your resources into the company premises first investment wastage limitation installation time operating systems installation software installation privacy installation time taken 
Next to no disaster recovery. If something happened to this home, no disaster recovery. Like today, I am storing data in India. My project is in USA. US people need to search the data means late and say. Okay. Every time you need to take care about the climate controller, power bills, maintenance, everything you need to take care. These all are the problems on on premises. There is a cloud. We'll just take the one account, okay, like a Facebook account. Whatever the service, serv service you want, whatever the resource you want, we will request on that account. They will provide it. You want 100 servers? In Mumbai, they will run and they will give access to you. Everything taken care by them. Only. Maintenance, everything will be taken care of. Clouds provide you option like models like IAS, PAS, and SaaS. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. Your wish, any model you can choose. Just utilize the resources and after the usage, pay the amount. No need to pay it advance also. Okay. So after usage, after one month only, you will pay your In 10 years back, for example, I am very close to KTR. KTR is the IT minister. He gave a big project to me. I invest two crores to purchase all the infrastructure. Now KTR lost his battle. No? Now my projects will go on. No? What about my two crores? All investment. If I try to sell these two crores pro property, they will ask for 50 lakhs. <laughs> Why? Because all are electronic goods. For human, for employees, I will show you yellow slip or pink slip. But I can't show you yellow slip or pink slip for the uh, products, na? Or my my products, na? My property, na? I'm the loser, no? But nowadays, if if the KTR offers two crore also, no problem. I will take the account on the cloud, and I will request thousand servers. If KTR lost the battle, my project gone means I will close the account. Nothing happened. Na? Up to then, whatever the money, I will settle it and I will close it. Previously, if anybody needs to start a company, they fear on investments. But now it is no. From sitting in the simple room also, they can run MNC company. Got my point? Yes. That is the power of cloud. Got my point? Yes. Cloud is nothing but all the resources will be maintained as a virtual via internet. People utilize that resources and pay the money after usage. Got my point, online people? Yes. Only one S? Yes. Now, now I said you data warehouse. What is data warehouse, sir? Can you please repeat again? Anybody? Data. Yes, it stores the historical and current data as a use for the purpose of analytical analysis. For the purpose of analysis. Now tell me on that definition. What is major important things? Storing means storage we need. Yes, sir. That means as a data warehouse, we need a storage. What my point? What my point? Anybody? Please respond. Yes. Next. And the data warehouse is the purpose of analytics. Yes. For doing analysis. That means to query the data, we need a computer. Yes or no? That means what we need? Computer. Now, storage and computer are two resources. 
these two resources was maintained on your company premises that is on prem these two resources was maintained on some other place via internet you are accessing that resources that is cloud simple understand that's why snowflake provide these two resources as a virtual that's why snowflake is a cloud data warehouse these two resources was maintained on company premises only on prem okay virtually maintained on virtually via internet you are accessing internet you are accessing that refers to cloud so examples of on prem data warehouse example of on prem data warehouse is did you heard about this word mysql servers microsoft sql servers sql servers data warehouse is there okay this is the first one and the second one is terra data netija patika okay and most importantly very most importantly how do anybody heard about that huh? how do big data big data in the form of five these are the examples of on prem on prem data warehouses whereas examples of cloud data warehouses are examples of examples of cloud data warehouses are snowflake redshift redshift means aws synapse azure next uh, big query big query gcp terra data cloud is there terra data cloud is there Good. Redshift, BigQuery, Synopsis, Teradata, Snowflake are the examples of cloud levels. On prem and cloud, both are recently cloud also introduced. Clear? Okay, now we are talking on Snowflake. Why Snowflake? Why not Adu? Because it is on fire. Cloud is best now. Yes. So that's why we are doing this. Sir, so again, I will reveal everything, sir. Just to today, understanding of what is snowflake. Again, entire process will be revealed. Entire data engineering operations will be revealed with this simple image. Every answer will be clear here with this image. So this is database OLTP. This is data warehouse OLTP. In the middle, there is a ETLs. Okay, here this Power BI Tableau people, data scientist. Anybody will work with them. Data warehouse. Data warehouse is centralized system. Yes. It is most, most important. How? Everybody is connected with a housewife, mother, like that. Data virus is the mother of the system. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, nowadays, data is keep on growing, sir. In this case, before 10 years back, if anybody invests some money on the company, this thinking is just if I invest the money, what is the rules? What is the operations? This only. But today, today, without investing a single rupee, 
and they are expecting the future of after 10 years they didn't invest one rupee also they asked me if you gave gave idea ravi gave idea to invest some money they asked me after 10 years what is your money that means analysis they need analysis he need analysis without investing a single rupee he need an analysis what is today profit what is tomorrow profit what is day by day profit what is monthly profits what is monthly losses what is the future of the operations this is all are the analysis how the analysis is needed for the analysis data engineering is needed sir without eating the food did you live no we can live no 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 answer is no without the food without eating the food we can't live you got my point it means water whatever it may be sir without going something to the mouth we can't live this is called analysis that means without analysis we can't do anything understand yes now this is the word which was done by analyst but as a data engineer i am saying you without a data engineer you can't do anything if anybody prepare something then only you will eat na yes so how how husband uh, sorry husband how how you feel means why why i am saying husband means every house husband is eating yes sir forget about it just example every house housewife is cooking i am just calling housewife as a data engineer husband as a data analyst husband every time say that i am the person who who is eating your food without uh, myself you can't eat, uh, prepare the food but uh, what is a housewife feeling if i didn't prepare how you will eat yes sir so that preparing means data engineering role means data collecting that means ingredients taken cleaning the ingredients preparing the ingredients segregating the ingredients and after that preparing the food and keeping into the one bowl what my point yes and then this is the data engineering role then on the bowl all your data is there all your food is there okay data analyst will come and uh, take that food on his plate okay and he will eat and he will say that after eating he will say the decision whether it is good or not whatever actually data engineering role is for taking the decisions for taking the decisions data engineers will help that okay now who is data scientist sir same sir data engineering role only he, he also but extension for example you are the data engineer i am the data sorry you are the data analyst i am the data engineer i prepare a food okay you eat that food after that you said that okay food is very nice food is nice. very nice okay you can eat it also this is your role data science people is there x person is the data part. that x person eat the food and say that lavanga ekkuvindi so i think uh, lemon is too much maybe uh, with this food i got 143 cal uh, calories oil is very too much my cholesterol will increase to 1.2% tomorrow maybe i will get motions with your food you will create algorithms same data okay whatever i data engineering data only same than that bowl only you will take what my point but up to the extent you will talk with the help of his algorithms with the help of his models got my point sir yes that is the data scientist 
data mining people will be there that are specifically they will work on the social media type like uh, unknown patterns unpredictable patterns on the type of data they will work data monitoring people will be there they will work on so this data is today this one what is their data on tomorrow this much of data you are getting what is the data on that flow what is the data let's say there is a one inch of water sir and within one hour you you fill one one bucket of water okay so tomorrow how many how much buckets you will fill within two hours that is monitored you will monitor it how the flow will come how the data is come any server will down what is the data flow on that particular server any errors are there this all are the doing a data monitor that means everybody will interact with a data warehouse centralized system in the middle etls etl is nothing but filter <laughs> tank is the database utility is the data warehouse in the middle filter water water filter is there na yeah. r o u v u whatever it may be that all etl this i will explain in coming class i think you can understand every data engineering operations here okay so as of now snowflake is a simple cloud data warehouse you can maintain huge and bulk of data for analytical purpose virtually anybody having any questions please ask me the sections will be starts from monday i think uh, i will tell you the time by today evening okay what is the time same time or other time i will tell you and i will decide you one hour uh, difference will be there maybe otherwise same time so i will take check my uh, uh, timings and everything schedules and everything and i will inform you from monday onwards we will start regular batches okay so you can listen uh monday also and you can decide it sure. okay so do you have any questions please ask me we have another five more time five five more minutes so what advantage is there in your question data engineering is nothing but collecting the data whatever the data where it will be you are you need to collect and after collection we need to segregate the data clean the data prepare the data and load the data in one place that is our data engineering problem. that will be happened with the different softwares and tools but everything i will teach you on the zoom flight data engineering data visualization not yeah? yes data visualization is the part of data analyst okay data engineering is different data analyst is different you can become a data analyst also you can prepare your own food and you can eat it means it will be very nice why because you can feel every ingredient nowadays whatever the data analyst don't know data engineering operations but some data engineering is having a knowledge of data analyst but data analyst don't have knowledge on data engineering 100% i can give guarantee most like 99 95% data engineering data analyst people don't have knowledge on data engineering operations but at least to 10 to 20% people having a knowledge on along with data engineering with data analyst yes please so you both will be there both will be there same you can come come to offline also offline or there people are there so you can come to offline also yeah sir friends i have yes please so like one thing yeah the data will be processed to real tools in one of the little tools will be processing the data and sending to sending to the yes etl will it will etl will segregate the data transform the data cleaning the data prepare the data and send to the uh, data warehouse data warehouse will maintain a huge block of data 
this is this is the flow so in that case uh, we can't uh, say that uh, uh, snowflake is an epl right we, we should we, we that's what uh, uh, this uh, your understanding will be before 5 years back okay, okay. but this the process will be reversed right now actually etls are not came first first data warehouse only came first okay. after then etls are fixed or came okay so actually tank first tank water tank will be there will directly uh, drink from the water tanks itself mm -hmm. then only etls will get that mean filters will get you got my point yes. same like that whatever the databases we can directly load into the storages but depends upon the demand the etl will came into the picture so that what i will explain you later about that kind the flow is correct 100% flow is correct whatever the flow you are telling everything you can do on the snowflake why because it will be work as a database management it will be work as a etl it will be work as a data warehouse all three we can do yeah. your correct is your your, uh, your uh, point is correct Special can be like you know, can be like a, a nine a.m. or eight a.m. Uh, that's what I will decide by today evening. Okay, so one hour that side, this side. I actually I started the session oh, at nine thirty now, so maybe difference same time or I will go with eight thirty or eight to nine depends. Eight to nine or anything. Yeah, because, uh, Yes, I think if it is morning, means I will go through the eight to nine. Yeah, that's right. Eight to nine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or nine to ten depends. Uh, eight to nine or nine to ten, I will plan maximum. What is the cost of course? Please contact to the consult person, sir. I am just a trainer here, so so please contact to the consult uh, person. Uh, uh, you are saying like for totally like a development term uh, administration will be like part of right? Yes, uh, in our course content, Snowflake administration, development, both will be covered along with basic SQL, uh, all of basic three, three AWS, AWS, Azure, GCP clouds and ETL operations. <laughs> and what will be the days you know, will be like uh, including Sunday or excluding Sunday? Monday to Friday compulsory. If any holiday, as we are well humans, if any work will come, any anything I will take, I will take the Saturday also. That means Monday to Saturday. So maximum five to six days I will cover every week. Six hours. Five to six hours I will cover every week. What if suppose we miss the session on that day? You will get a recording video. Okay. You will get access to that drive. So please go through the drive video. So I will have access. You can you can contact with me in WhatsApp group. Okay. Any doubts on the time? I can guide you. Okay. So please ping, ping me or call me. I will give you my free time and you can clear your doubts. Don't worry about it. So until you will get job, I will be with you. You are you need to suppose to use my services. That's it. Why? Because in Telugu there is a word called if you don't ask, mother won't. Uh, mother uh, uh, won't give food to you. Same like that. I am not more than mother. You can utilize my services. Definitely, I will be with you. Yes, please. How many days it will store the data means it's like your wish, sir. You can store for use, sir. Not at all. There is no say, uh, there is no retention policy like that. You can for, store for a number of days. It's all your wish. If you want, you can remove it. You can delete it. Yes, sir. Snowflake, good openings are there, sir. Uh, minimum 1.5 years experience in Snowflake is needed. Minimum. Maximum, you can go up to 4 years also. If after my content, if you prepare more, so you can keep 4 years experience also. Don't worry about it. That much, almost all I am covering, sir. All I am covering. 
from the scratch itself. Why? Because nowadays uh, people are working with Snowflake. So I think 30 to 40 percent of our content is doing the activities. But I am covering almost 70 to 80 percent. Right? Even uh, with our course content, with after learning the Snowflake, after some classes, other data engineering softwares also will be configured by you. I will teach you. I, after some classes, I will open the big data, big query, GCP data engineering data warehouse called big query. Yeah. I will open it. I will ask to configure by you only. Got my point? So if you if you know how to wear a polo t-shirt, you can wear a UCB t-shirt also. No? That our classes. Okay, that's when we have uh, our classes. So with Snowflake, you can have a capability to go easy on the other data engineering operations also. That's all enough. I think so. Thank you. Do you have any questions you can ask me? Otherwise, I will close the section for today. I will share this link to concerned persons. Please ask your uh, ask this uh, link to re-listen the class. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day. Happy weekend. Yeah, thank you.